Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, after a little morning cloud cover, we broke into a good amount of sunshine for the second half of this Monday across the area. And our skies will remain clear as we head through the overnight. Here's a look outside at those clear skies on the Storm Team 5 Skyview camera, powered by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin in Sturgeon Bay. 24 degrees. That sunset tonight was at 444. Tomorrow we'll add about two minutes to that sunset at 446. All right, in Manitowoc, you can see those clear skies as well, 24. That current air temperature, 24 as well. And Green Bay, we're at 24. Up in Iron Mountain, 19 in Appleton and 23 degrees. So you're uh, late this afternoon. And Fond du Lac. So with the snow that we picked up this past weekend here in Green Bay, that brings our seasonal total now to 36.3 inches. For this time of the season, we're almost a foot above average. And for a typical season here in Green Bay, we pick up 51.4 inches. So we're already at 70.6% of our average snowfall for the year. And we still have several months ago as well. So at this rate, we will end up being well above average. We'll just have to wait and see how that ends up here over the next several months. All right, so our current snow depth now as of yesterday in Green Bay was at six inches, but you get north and west of Green Bay, well over a foot in Wausau and Rylander, nearly three feet of snow on the ground right now in Marquette, thanks to some lake effect snow up across that area. And here's some good news, especially to the north that added snowfall the past few days has been able to open up a few snowmobile trails, especially north of Highway 29, where some of the trails are partially open for Shano, uh, O'Connell, Marinette, and Dora County. If you're looking for really good conditions, you have to head way up north. Lane Lake, Forest, and Florence County all reporting excellent conditions with over a foot of snow on the ground up that direction. Now, right now, no snow to worry about. Clear skies and dry weather here across the entire state of Wisconsin. High pressure is now off to our south and west. That keeps things fairly quiet once again for tonight and through much of your Tuesday. So Futurecast is showing that area of high pressure eventually sliding over Illinois by tonight, giving us those clear skies and light winds. But through your morning tomorrow, we'll see a good amount of sunshine. It will likely stay that way through the afternoon. Eventually, as that high moves up to our south and east, we'll start to tap into more of a southwesterly wind for the second half of your Tuesday. As some warmer air starts to build into the state, we'll probably see a little more cloud cover by Tuesday night and into Wednesday. A dry start to Wednesday, but as we head into the afternoon, we will have a few snow showers starting to move into the area, and those snow showers will continue into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And by Thursday morning, for your commute, it looks like we could have a widespread one to two inches of snowfall on the ground. And then we'll continue with a few more chances for rain and snow Thursday into Friday as we start to get a boost in those temperatures into the mid 30s. See a forecast for tonight. It will be mostly clear. Temperatures for many of us falling uh, into the single digits, maybe a touch warmer right along the Lake Michigan shoreline. And then for tomorrow, a nice day with lots of sunshine, highs very seasonal in the mid 20s. Those winds will start to pick up by the afternoon. Your seven day planner has that snow chance for the second half of the day on Wednesday, mid 30s, Thursday and Friday. So we could be mixing in a little rain or drizzle with those snow showers for the second half of this work week. And then those temperatures stay mild well into the 30s through the upcoming weekend. You can always get the latest forecast anytime. It's on our website, wearegreenbay.com. Keep the shovel nearby. Yeah, you might need it uh, Wednesday night and Thursday morning. All right, we well, thank you, Chad.